guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter, and since everyone's doing mystery boxes, I figured, why not? So I have a mystery box over... <laughs> <laughs> you actually threw it! Yeah, it, it was an empty box, but that's not how I wanted it. Okay. This time he's giving me the box, but he's not throwing it. Because... <laughs> so, since so many people have been doing mystery boxes, I've had quite a hard time finding a, an actual craft mystery box. I checked on eBay, I checked a little bit of everywhere, I just couldn't find anything. If you want to know the story behind this mystery box, which has been compiled by my husband Pat, who's sitting over there, I gave him a budget of $100. He got pretty creative and went with um, Christmas wrapping, even though we're not in Christmas. Still January. Still January. <laughs> So, I gave him a budget of $100 and told him to find craft items. He really doesn't know much about crafting or art, so he's like, what's the difference? So I gave him the rundown. Crafting is pretty much stuff that you can build, I could be wrong, but I told him. And he has a general idea, more or less, of the kind of things that I craft with. Doesn't really watch my channel, but I have his support, so that's, that's good enough for me. I'm subscribed. He's subscribed, at least. <laughs> So just to be extremely clear, this was his first time ever going to a craft store on his own and shopping for supplies. So you will be getting to see snippets of his actual experience inside Michael's. And if you want to see what I craft with the items he got me, wait until Friday's video. So Thursday, I am showing you guys what I got. And Friday, I'll show you guys exactly what I made with all of the stuff he got. If you want a shout out in my next video, make sure that you're here within the first 30 minutes of a release of a video and hashtag nerdification squad. I'll always choose someone from the first 30 minutes of a video. So, let's open this together. I'm still mixed up with the camera angle. Okay, hang on. Here's the box and I'm really curious. I'm really, really curious. He was in there for, well, at Michael's, for 40 minutes. Uh, man, it's a big store. How do people do it to be here all the time? Pretty tough. I'm tired. I need a coffee. And a huge glass of wine afterwards. This store is really starting to make me want to craft too. Okay, so this is what everything looks like on the inside, so I can't even get a sneak peek of what we're getting. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I think I'm, I'm like, it's really warm in here. Because he's sitting there, he's like, I want you to see what I got. So my guess is that he's going to give me something difficult because I will have to craft from the things that are in here. Maybe not everything, but if needed, I'll fill the gaps. So, okay, I'm gonna put the box aside, otherwise it's gonna be a little tough. So the first thing we get, ooh, wires. Oh, it's even sculpting wires. That's not a bad start. That is pretty good. I guess some wires would be useful. I'm just not sure which one to take, actually. There's like the super thick one or the thin one. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll figure something out, maybe. Maybe the thicker ride so hard. I'll think I'll take the thin one. Okay, well, that's a, that's a pretty good start. Now, the reason eBay ones are uh, bad is because uh, you kind of have the potential of getting scammed, but this here, a wooden board? Okay, this is crazy because in my tutorial this week, I used the wooden board. I'm so happy because so many of you guys really liked the last week's tutorial. Oh, what's that? Last week's tutorial. Next thing, resin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, he's pretty good. He's pretty good so far. Let's see if the resin is expired though. Okay, it's still it's still clear. This one is slightly on the yellow side, but it's definitely not on the expired side. So we have resin. Where's resin? Resin, resin, resin. Alright, so time to grab some resin. So I think that's the one. This one seems pretty good. So I'll go with this one. And uh, let's see. It's seriously a lot more complicated than it looks to grab a few things. I just have no clue what all this thing is. Maybe I should have watched a few of her videos to see, uh, to get some inspiration beforehand. Oh, you're good. I'm trying to feel in here. Okay, what's this? It's like a tube? Oh, what is that? Tacky glue. I don't know what tacky glue is. I 
think this is for gems. I could be wrong. So all-purpose. Okay, so it's an all-purpose glue. Is it gold colored? Kids, don't sniff glue. Okay, it just smells like normal glue. <laughs> don't sniff glue. We also get some glue. I think that's gonna help out. Just don't know what to take. There's too many of them. Fast glue, fabric fusion. <sighs> all-purpose? All-purpose. All-purpose seems good. All right, let's see the next item. Oh, what is that? That is, that is heavy. That is heavy. What? What is this? What is that? Woodland tiny treasures? Decorative filler? Is that like rocks? I'm guessing these are rocks. He's nodding. Okay, so these are kind of... What? Rocks. Rocks? Okay, so we have a bunch of... Please don't fall. Ah, oh, damn it. So we have a bunch of rocks. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna have to see how they react in the oven. They don't smell... Oh, they have a coloring smell. Okay, I'm gonna have to test these out in the oven to see if they will melt at some point or if the color will actually come off. Out of nowhere, good thing I was just walking around. I'll find, I found a bunch of rocks. And it's not the price either. It's four dollars, so I think I'm gonna go for that. They're little, and that yeah, I'm. I'll go with this one. Some type of sense. Yeah, I think it shows better. So that might be an idea also for that little world. Different rocks. I think they're even nicer. There's nicer colors. Uh, it's like reddish, reddish. I would say. So I think I'll go with these ones instead of the rocks I had. Rocks. I think the sand will be nicer. So I'll take this box of sand. It's gonna look nicer, I think, to make some uh, something. Okay, that is weird. I don't think I've ever used that kind of stuff. Oh, that is soft. So, oh, moss. Oh, I'm starting to get a picture of what I can make with these. Okay, I'm starting to see a kind of theme. Okay, so we get some really cool moss. We can't go wrong with that. I think the best uh, best thing to do would be to get her enough of the stuff so she can make uh, some type of environment so I'll go find some fake grass or moss or anything like that that she can use looking for moss no moss in sight it's the 20th minutes I'm here I think it's time to go ask for help oh I think I found it what is this stuff that's nice actually let me see how much they want for that 6.99 okay, that could be it oh wow actually I found the holy grail here what is this stuff more of this, and we have a, ooh, that's nice, it's like a tape with like mussish, ah, muss roll actually, that's actually pretty cool, yeah, I'm definitely taking this thing, actually I ended up finding something completely different, it's like different type of mosses instead of uh, what I have, I think I'll go with this instead, it has more variety going on, so I think it's going to give uh, her a bit more ideas. I'm actually getting really excited, so I'm starting to have a picture, but, oh, this is heavy. Wait, is that a book? You didn't get a book, did you? <laughs> I did get a book. No, okay. I don't know what this, this is pretty heavy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a set of primo colored clay. So it's not that easy as it looks to find some stuff to do. So, so far I have clay. That's as good as it gets for so far. Let me see what else I can find that makes sense. Just found like some new bunch of colors of polymer clay. That looks actually pretty good. Since we have also the 40% coupon, it's not too bad. Uh, maybe maybe that looks like a good idea actually, better than the other clay. Okay, this means I have to use colored clay in an environment, which makes this really hard because usually if you're going to make a sculpture on a wooden board, you usually use a uni unicolored kind of clay but because you have smaller blocks of clay it means I'm gonna have to get creative and mix these up so this is really pretty I think this is like packs for children or beginners to try it out is there something else in there? one more item? okay so there's one more item yeah the box is it's empty we're done with that this is feels like a U shape I don't know but it is. Oh, why are you doing this to me? I don't know where this. Ah, I have to think of something. Somewhere, some type of bowl to make an environment. So, 
What can we work with? Uh, it seems pretty big actually. It seems pretty big. What else can we have here? Good idea, but probably too big. So let's see. Uh, oh, ooh. We're getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere. I think that might be actually really nice to have some type of figures. I'm starting to appreciate Michaels. They have such they have so many different other things on like Like even bottles that can be used, that's pretty cool actually. I think I'm starting to be a bit more cool. Ooh, wow. That's pretty cool too. And uh, maybe this. Hmm. I don't know. Too many choices. I think I'm already here for the past 15 minutes. Jackie must be really, really bored. I think I'll use that as an inspiration to give her stuff to, to find. Okay, so we get a glass bowl. This is going to be interesting. So we have all these different things that I'm going to have to try and think of something together. So if you guys are looking to do this whole mystery box challenge, instead of risking getting scammed on eBay like so many people have, why don't you just give a budget to a friend or family member and send them off to a craft store and even a dollar store and just have fun with that. So maybe that should be the next video. Dollar store craft challenge. So you never know. All right, so this is pretty much the final uh, the final cart I'm gonna have. So I took some resin. And for her, I have some standard glue. I have what's it called? So I have some of the glue. I have some tiny rocks that can be used also for a project. I took a piece of wood in case if she wants to make a sculpture out of it. It's pretty big. Uh, I took also a piece of glass in case if she wants to go more with uh, what's it called? An environment. I have also some pieces of wires uh, that I got in case if she makes a bigger sculpture. I really like this type of moss. I find it can create a lot of, uh, uh, whether it's an environment or even on uh, the actual wood, I think it's going to look pretty cool. And uh, I took some of uh, a big bunch of clays. There's like 24 colors in there. Um, so that's why I didn't take any, uh, any paint. I think it's going to be simpler for her to use this part. All done. <laughs> So it took me about, I would say about half an hour to get all this stuff. Ended up being under the budget by a few bucks uh, with all taxes and everything in. It was 90, $94 for uh, all this stuff I got that I showed before. So I think it's pretty good. I think it's going to be fun for her uh, to try try that. I wasn't too mean. I didn't try to make any uh, anything weird. So much stuff. I have no clue what to take. I think I'm already here for the past five minutes. I can't figure out what to take. How does she do it?